Hi, True Fire peeps. This is Cheryl Bailey here with some um, ideas about developing your rhythmic phrasing. All music is rhythm, melody, and harmony. The ancient Greeks broke it down into three corresponding concepts. Melody is the mind, the intellect. Harmony is the heart or the vibe and the emotion. But rhythm is the body. Rhythm is what makes you want to dance. And as far as I'm concerned, in all music, rhythm is the great communicator. All the great soloists have this in common. They're great rhythmic players. So one of the main things to develop as a player is the awareness of where you are in the beat cycle in order to harness that power. So think about this. If you're in 4-4, there are four down beats and there are four up beats, meaning I can start my phrase on any one of those places. So that gives me eight places in a in a measure of 4-4 to start my phrase. That's what's exciting. Now at first you may have to count this and that's cool because we can use our mind to program our body, right? Because ultimately you want to get to a place where you just feel these things and you're not thinking about them. When I'm playing I'm not thinking about them but I'm very aware of them and I have also worked on them to develop them. So you know this isn't something that um, just comes out of the blue. So here's what I'm talking about. I'm going to take a solo, one course on a blues and F, and I'm just, I'm not going to do any rhythmic variation. One, two, one, two, three, like the notes I choose or the shapes I choose, but rhythmically, it's a drag. You know what I'm going to do. To me, I always say that's like playing chess with a two-year-old. You know what's going to happen. Game over. Why go further? And I also feel this way about rhythmic phrasing is it's a great way to invite people into a solo. So you don't know what I'm going to do. So another example of that, if I take a chorus on a blues, but rhythmically, I displace ideas and I place them. See which one you like better. One. I know what I two. like better. One, two, three, four. was careful about where I placed my notes and and had fun with it. To me that's fun. Like in some ways I don't even know what I'm going to do until I do it. So how do you develop that? So there are in a measure of 4-4 four, four, there are eight places to start a phrase. Four downbeats and four upbeats. So first of all becoming aware of that is the first step. It's the first step. Um, so Here's what I suggest doing. Start with this with chords because this will relate to not only to your melodic ideas but to when you're comping, right? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to play a chord on respectively downbeat of one, the and of one, downbeat of two, the and of two, down of three, up of three, down of four, up of four. So now at first you'll be counting this and that's totally cool. Because to, you want to get to that point where you, that counting, the intellect just, you know, is programmed in there and then your body sort of circumvents it and takes it over and before you know it you can feel these things. So it's a process. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start, you can play any chord you want on beat one. And then I'm going to try to cycle through these as, as I go one, through. So we start two, any chord you like. One, so F two, blues, three, beat one. Four. one. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two,
we've explored this in a corduroy, which is going to be great for your comping to be able to vary between a downbeat and upbeat. Also really locking in the groove of where the downbeat is and where the upbeat is. They both have a pocket. So I'm gonna do a similar thing. I'm gonna kind of cycle through them on a blues and F, um, starting on beat one and then the and of one. And I'm just gonna, just so you get a sense of how it feels in different places in the beat. One, two, one, two, one, two, two three, three, four. four. One, three, four. something that I would do in the practice room, but hopefully it will get you this point where you can feel where you are in the phrase and you can start to have so much fun with building that tension and release between the upbeat and the downbeat. I really recommend listening to the music of Thelonious Monk, Charlie Parker, Bud Powell, uh, Chick Corea, uh, any of these amazing improvisers, Jim Hall, Bill Evans, are masters of using rhythm. All the great blues players, B.B. King, Albert King, all are masters of placement and displacement. So hopefully this can give you a concise way to try to approach getting this into your playing. And uh, hopefully in time, when we get together again, you're going to be so rhythmically hip. You're going to be moving the room and moving the mountains with that physical power of rhythm. Peace out.